Welcome to Kids Church. Today we're going to hear about how Jesus feels about kids. But first, we're going to sing a song. Let's stand up and sing together. <laughs> Get ready for our lesson. Jesus and the Children Matthew chapter 19 verses 13 through 15 Mark chapter 10 verses 13 through 16 and Luke chapter 18 verses 15 through 17. <laughs> the children loved to spend time with Jesus. But the disciples didn't understand. They said, Stop! Do not bother Jesus. He is just too busy. Jesus told the disciples, Let the children come to me. Do not keep them away. You must become like these little children if you want to enter God's kingdom. Then Jesus blessed the children. Hey kids, have you ever felt like you weren't important just because you were a kid? Like maybe you're trying to talk to an adult about something, but they just didn't listen. Or maybe you had a really good idea, but nobody wanted to hear it. Did you know that there is someone who thinks kids are very important? It's Jesus, and today we'll look at a story that shows how much Jesus cares about kids. Some people think that kids aren't important to Jesus. One day, some people brought their kids to come see Jesus. But the disciples got mad at those people because they thought the kids were going to bother Jesus. They thought that Jesus had more important people to talk to and that kids were just going to waste his time. That seems pretty rude to the disciples. And you know what? They were wrong about Jesus. Jesus thinks kids are super important. When Jesus saw the disciples getting mad at the parents, he got mad at his disciples. He wasn't too busy to see the kids at all. He wanted the kids to come see him and to know him. He didn't think that they were any less important than the adults were. In fact, he used this situation to teach a very important lesson. Jesus taught that everyone has to be like a kid to really know God. And that's the important lesson that Jesus had to teach. Memory verse! Let the children come to me. Don't stop them, for the kingdom of God belongs to those who are like these children. So does that mean that kids can only really know God and go to heaven? Not at all. Jesus loves adults too, and he wants them to go to heaven. What Jesus is really saying is people have to be like kids to know him. See, adults could think that they have it all figured out, but kids, they don't do that as much. So in a lot of ways, kids are better at trusting in God. And Jesus wants everyone to be like that. So kids, whenever you feel like you're not important because you're just a kid, remember this lesson. 
Jesus thinks you're super important and wants adults to be like you. Now we have some discussion questions for you to talk about with your parents. It's time for Bible Trivia. This time we'll be asking questions about animals. The first question for 100 points. In the Garden of Eden, what animal tempted Eve to eat the forbidden fruit? Was it A, a lion, B, a rat, C, a serpent, or D, a turkey? That's right, the animal that tempted Eve to eat the forbidden fruit was a serpent. The next question for 200 points. When David was a little boy, what kind of animals did he take care of? Was it A, cows, B, horses, C, pigs, or D, sheep? When David was a little boy, he took care of sheep. For 300 points. Because he prayed to God, Daniel was thrown into a den of what? Is it A, bears, B, lions, C, tigers, or D, vipers? Daniel was thrown into a den of lions for praying to God. Next question for 500 points. In his triumphal entry into Jerusalem, Jesus rode upon a what? Is it A, cow, B, a donkey, C, a horse, or D, a lion? Jesus rode upon a donkey in his triumphal entry into Jerusalem. The next question for 1,000 points. When Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit came down from heaven in the form of a bird. What was the bird? Was it A, a dove, B, an eagle, C, a pigeon, or D, a quail?
The Holy Spirit came down in the form of a dove when Jesus was baptized. The next question for one million points. Jesus told a story about a lost animal, one out of a hundred. What kind of animal was lost? Was it A, a cat, B, a dog, C, a goat, or D, a sheep? The lost animal that Jesus told a story about was a sheep. Next question for lots of points. After spending all of his money, the prodigal son found work feeding what? Was it A, cows, B, goats, C, pigs, or D, sheep? After spending all of his money, the prodigal son found work feeding pigs. Next question for plenty of points. After Peter denied Jesus three times, an animal made a loud noise. What kind of animal was it? Was it A, a cow, B, a dog, C, a donkey, or D, a rooster? The animal that made a loud noise after Peter denied Jesus three times was a rooster. Next question for, um, two points. When Jonah tried to run away, God caused an animal to swallow him. What kind of animal was it? Was it A, a great fish, B, a bear, C, a snake, or D, a lion? The animal that swallowed Jonah when he tried to run away was a great fish. Now the last question for so, so many points. When Noah sent out a bird from the ark, it returned with a branch from an olive tree in its beak. What was the bird? Was it A, a dove, B, a quail, C, a pigeon, or D, an eagle? Noah sent out a dove from the ark, and it returned with the branch of an olive tree in its beak. Thanks for playing Bible Trivia. We hope you'll play again soon. Here are some activity sheets. You can stop the video and do them now or after the last song.
for coming to Kids Church. Come back next week for more fun and learning about Jesus.